Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium video. Today we're going to be doing a collection update of my compact and small 1-50 to scale wheel loaders. Everything that you will see in this video is a cat product besides one, uh, which is a case wheel loader, and we'll go over that when we get to it. These machines were released from the 80s up until just a few years ago, so spawning a spanning a wide range of decades here. So Cat defines the compact wheel loader line from their 903D to their 914 and the small wheel loader product range from the 918 to the 938. And over the years there have been several examples of their compact and small wheel loaders made to help sell the real product. So let's go ahead and take a look at each of these individually. The first one that we will start off with is an old Norscott Cat 906. So this came out in the late 90s. And it doesn't have the highest degree of functionality. But for its time, it wasn't a bad model. And it really stayed in their lineup for quite some time. Overall, pretty solid machine. It really does everything you, that you'd want a wheel loader to do. Features some articulation, although as you can see, the uh, angle at which that it can achieve is somewhat shallow. And the lights here weren't painted or decaled or anything like that. Very bare bones detailing. But overall, if you wanted an example of the Cat 906, the first version, you had one available to you. Then, about a decade later, they released the 906H, and this had a fair degree, a, a fair level of, of updates to it, uh, including metal bucket, some hydraulic lines here. You can see that it oscillates, a better range of articulation, a little bit better functionality, and a little bit better dump angle. But in terms of the height, it's just still pretty shallow to get over the side of a 150th scale dump truck. And obviously, as you can see here, since this came out in 2008, it did have the newer style cat trade dress on it. Pretty neat little wheel loader. And I don't even know, I, I think that these machines in the real world actually can get over the side of a dump truck. Maybe they can't, I don't know. Um, but they're very tiny. But nice to have in your collection if you want something really small. And there's even the cat logo casted in on the side of the bucket there in black. Again, very hard to see, but it is there. And the most current edition of the 906 is the 906M. And this was a diecast, or this is rather, a diecast master's piece. So the first two were Norscots. This is a diecast master's uh, casting which really is basically the 906H mold with some updates, including turn indicators on the light stocks up here. Some much better functionality and improved height. There you go. That definitely will get over the side of, say, a CT660 dump truck. The compromise is that the dump angle is a little bit um, even more shallow because the, the cylinders kind of clash, so it doesn't allow it to dump fully. But it still articulates, and there's a lot more intricate hose detailing here for your hydraulic lines, and plenty of oscillation. And there's even a transmission shaft here. So that's it for the compact line. The only non-cat loader I have to show you guys in my collection, in this size range anyway, this is an Ertl Case 621B. Uh, the only reason that I have this in my collection is because growing up, the town that I lived in in New York had a fleet of these. So, uh, specifically the B model of the 621. So this is kind of uh, partial to, to my heart, so I had to pick up a scale model of it. Of course, seeing a ton of these working around when you're growing up. Um, for an Erdl model overall, it has 
relatively decent functionality, respectable height, very good dump angle, which results in a good cut angle as well. Articulation isn't bad. The early 90s style case logo, in my opinion, looks good. So if you're a fan of case equipment, this is one that I would look for uh, on eBay if you want to add to your collection. All right, back to Cat. This is the ever so popular Norscott Cat 924G Versalink wheel loader. This came out in 2000, the year 2000, and stayed in Norscott's lineup for 15 years until uh, Diecast Masters took over the license agreement. So that should give you an indication of just how good this product is. The, it had a working quick coupler, which again, in 2000, was kind of a, a relatively new thing for 1 to 50 scale. Had uh, metal attachments, so here's the metal bucket. Material handling arm, which I put a little piece of string here to kind of look like rope or chain or whatever. This doesn't come with it, obviously, but it does have holes that are casted in. And forks. And they just go over the top of the quick coupler and then click into the bottom. Very simplistic, but it works well nonetheless. So many of us have had a 924 and still have a 924 in our collection. This is my original. Just a good, solid workhorse. Uh, it was a very inexpensive model at the time that it came out. And, you know, essentially you had a wheel loader that does a few different things. All right, moving on to his, one of its predecessors. This is a model I picked up second hand a few years ago. This is the Conrad Cat IT28. IT stands for Integrated Tool Carrier. Uh, a very old model. I think this was pre or late 1980s, I believe. Um, functionality, a bit restrictive again, but you, at least you have a nice warning light up on top. Came with this little piece here that locks in one of two attachments. So you, again, you had a material handling arm or your pallet forks, which you can take off and you know put on, depending on what size pallet you're using. Looking underneath, Conrad 1-50 to scale, made in West Germany. So if you're a sucker for these old Conrad pieces or old NZG pieces, chances are you have one of these in your collection already. Uh, if you don't, again, your best bet is going to be on the secondary market to try and find one of these. Robustly made with about the level of detail you would expect from a model from that time period. Also from Conrad, made around the same time, maybe a little bit earlier, is the 936, essentially the same mold. This is obviously just the bucket or wheel loader version and not the IT arms. Again, very good functionality. And this will load a 1 to 50 scale dump truck. And despite all these years, it still holds up quite well and looks good on the shelf. Taking a look underneath, again, you have Conrad, your model number made in West Germany. And even back then, they had the forethought to have the oscillating rear axle. So, got to have a lot of respect for them. And on to our final two in this size class. Again, we are focusing on the compact to small wheel loaders in this showcase video. These two are by Norscott, which are now in the Diecast Masters lineup. These are the Cat 930K and 938K, basically the same model. The only difference really is the graphics on them. They both come with a pallet fork and a bucket. So for each one I've put either attachment on so that you can get an idea of what both of them look like. Again, the quick coupler is not realistically modeled. It is modeled 
purely for functionality. And the pallets, or the actual forks on here, again, you can adjust them depending on what size pallet you are using. You can also take them off if you wish to do that. But overall, pretty good functionality on both of these. The detail, again, for uh, these were first released in 2012 or 2013, somewhere around there. Were pretty good. Lights, silver surfaces for mirrors, rubber tires with bolt detail on them, good range of articulation. And the newer ones by Diecast Masters even have warning labels on them and a couple other updates to really make them pop. So there's the 930K. We'll briefly take a look at the 938K because, as I just said, it's basically the same thing. Just with 938K. Here's your functionality of the loader arm. That's about as far as it will dump. And your carry angle. We'll go back to about there. I'll put the bucket back on so you guys can see. But the, the carry angle is pretty good. Very good, in fact. So there you have it, collectors. That is my entire lineup of 1 to 50 scale compact and small wheel loaders. Uh, most of them are by Cat. One of them is Case. Definitely worthwhile to have one of these in your collection if you don't already. Very versatile pieces of equipment in the real world. Very, very likely and good chance that you'll see these either in road construction uh, or on really any type of residential construction whatsoever. So if you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.